Welcome to the part 5 of face detection and recognition using OpenCV in Python. So in the previous tutorial we uh, created our own data set to detect a, a, for a single person. So in this video we will be training our own classifier to classify and uh, recognize that person. So for that I will create a separate Python file and I will name it, uh, I will name it as classifier.py so first of all we will start by importing numpy as np if you do if you do not have numpy installed on your machine you can install it by pip install numpy the second thing we will uh, the second module which we will need is the pillow if you do not have this installed on your machine you can install it by typing pip install pillow okay so now what we need to do is we will create a method and we will name it pain classifier and this method will take the data directory as a parameter in the directory in which the images are present. So first of all what we will do is we will uh, append all the images in a list and I will call that list path. So here for f in os dot okay i haven't imported os i also have to import os okay import os so for f in os dot list dir and this will list all the directories all the files in this directory and now what we need to do is os dot path dot join and this will join the data directory with the file so it will give us the complete path to to the uh, to these files okay and it will store it in a list so in this list we will have all these files uh, let me show you so in this list we will ha have the path for all of these files okay so now what uh, we have to do next is we will create two empty lists one for face and one for the IDs of that user okay so on the same index the face correspond to the ID of this user okay and now uh, we will uh, uh, and now in the images basically we will uh, open every image in this list and we will open it using pillow so for that image dot open and image and convert dot convert and in the parameter it will take capital L and it will uh, basically here we are, we are opening the image through pillow and converting them into a grayscale and then we have to convert the image into a numpy in order to uh, in order to train our classifier so we will convert the images into the numpy format for that we can do is image numpy image numpy equals to np dot array and here we will pass the image and second is parameter is the u int 8 okay now we have to uh, uh, get the ids from this path so if you remember each image has an id for the user here the id for the user is user dot 1 so to get the id what we need to do is os dot path dot split image so what this will do is this will split the uh, path uh, the the image name from the path so basically the image name will be data slash user dot one dot one zero four and stuff like that so it will separate, uh, separate the data uh, the data directory and it will give us the name of the images only so this will give us the name of the image so now we need to uh, we need to take the first 
the, the string at the first index and we will split it using dot because uh, the, ID, the user id and the image id separated by dot so we will uh, separate it we split the string using dot and we will take the first a string at the first index because at the zero index we have a string user and at the first index we have the uh, user id okay so here we will take uh, first index and this since this will return us any string we need to convert it into an integer so there we have the id of that image now we need to append the image the image in the numpy format to the faces and we need to append the ids to the id list okay and now what we need to do is we need to convert this id list in a numpy format so for that id is equal to numpy.array ids and now uh, we are done with uh, done with preparing our list so the last thing we need to do is feed our classifier these list and train it so for that what you need to do is clf equals to cv2 dot face dot lbh face recognizer underscore create okay i haven't imported cv2 also import cv2 uh, dot underscore create so if you are having trouble in uh, using this uh, method i'll drop a link in the description below you can uh, you can follow the guide uh, the guide in this uh, in this thread to eliminate the uh, attribute error because i was having the attribute error earlier so i'll drop a link in the description below so you can solve it by uh, following the solution in the, uh, described in the link okay so the next thing you need to do is clf.train we need to train our classifier and we will pass faces and the ids to train it and the last thing we need to do is save it so clf.write and we will save it as classifier.yml and the last thing uh, Yes, we have uh, okay. So we have we are done declaring this matter method. The only thing we need to do is call this method, and the uh, uh, the parameter is the data directory. So when I will run this file, uh, a new file classifier.yml will be generated, which uh, which will be the classifier to recognize my face. Okay, so let's run it. CP2 has no. Uh, Attribute okay, it is giving me the same error again. L, uh, okay, it is LBPH. I forgot to do, I did a spelling, a spelling mistake here. So let's run it, and as you can see here, it has generated a new file classifier.yml. So we are done with training our classifier. So in the next video, we will be using our uh, the, uh, the classifier which we just trained to predict the face of the person in the video. Okay, so stay tuned and if you have any problem, you can drop a comment. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand.